Guys, there's something that I have got to talk about because I've seen it pop up in my comments section on a regular basis. And that is people seem to think that I'm getting paid to do reviews, which is absolutely untrue. This is going to be a very short video. We're going to talk about it. But first, I wanted to tell you the only way that I make money on this channel is through ad revenue affiliate marketing, which you'll see links down below because I have affiliates, a lot of knife companies. Um, I have, I put links to items that are available and I have an Amazon store and through my sponsors, Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Trail. Those are both companies I trust. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. That's the only way I make money. So when people are going on, they're like, oh, you're just in bed with these companies and these companies are paying you. I don't, I won. I don't appreciate it because I like to think that I do honest reviews, even when I get items that come in for free. So you guys do know that there is a lot of stuff that comes in for free. I get stuff from Rosecraft. I get stuff from QSP. I get stuff from Ganzo through their Firebird Knives brand. Um, I've gotten stuff from New Knives, the, both the Compantor and now their Kickstarter that I just shot a video of way earlier today, and I still have to do the edit. Uh, but the majority of the stuff you see on this channel comes from Jared over at Neves Knives. So I really, I really find it offensive when people go in and even when I lay it out for them and I tell them, you know, hey, I'm not getting paid to do these reviews. Uh, and then they go, oh, no, all these Chinese companies are paying for reviews and things like that. There are companies that reach out and like, hey, we want to do a review. We want you to do a review on this item. There's a process that I go through. I ask a few questions. I'm like, okay, what's the product? I need to know the ins and outs. What's the price point? I need to see like some images of it and things like that. But then I go in and I tell them, look, I, you have to understand, I have to be able to do an honest review. And they're like, oh, well, no, we want to pay for a review. Right there, that's a red flag. If you're getting paid for a review, you're not going to be able to be honest because most of these companies are looking for a paid testimonial. They want you to take, they want me to take you guys and put this in front of you and basically not be able to tell you the truth about it. I've seen other, uh, other YouTubers do it. Typically, it's not in the knife community, but you see big time YouTubers doing the husk knife thing. Cedric and Ada and I both did videos about that. Husk knives went through and had those videos flagged. And we both had those videos taken down. As a matter of fact, I lost my ability to upload for like two days because of it. If a company wants to pay you for a review, they're not wanting an honest review. They want you to tell them they, they want us to tell you that this is the best product ever and you can't deviate. And that's why those paid reviewers, you see the same talking points. It's because it's a script. Um, that's why the sponsors that I have are sponsors I love. I've been told by Coffee Brand Coffee, I can market their material, their, their products, however I want. Tempered Trail, uh, Nathan, <laughs> Nathan is a great dude. He's the designer of the Enigma multi-tool. Has never told me anything I have to do. I mention his stuff. I'm not as robust on it because the fact is he doesn't have as many things to offer as the coffee brand coffee, but he's building his way up. So all these people that go into comment sections and do that, it's typically on specific videos. It's always when I besmirch their brand. Uh, the biggest one has been recently on a knife that I did, which was the Benchmade Contigo. There was a lot of people that went in and were like, oh, all you ever do is, is Chinese knives. Not true. I do as many American-made knives as possible. One of my favorite brands is Tcal. Tcal Federal Veteran makes amazing fixed blade knives. Um, I have a video that's coming up of one of the all-time classic American-made knives, the Buck 119 Special. It is a legend, been around since 1942. Um, Bark River Knives, Cold Steel's American Made Knives, and any of those other. There are a lot of brands out there, but what people want to see is budget knives. And unfortunately right now, budget knives that are American made typically are not very good. They really aren't. You're seeing things like the press stamped case knives. Everybody's like, oh, we'll do Kershaw knives. I got news for you. A lot of Kershaw stuff is now made in China. Um, they have some American made knives. Until recently, Schrade. Schrade was a Chinese owned brand. None of their stuff was being made in America. So all of these people that are coming in and telling you, oh, well, this and that, um, th they, you should be doing all American stuff. I just can't. Because to bring you guys what is popular in the knife community, which is decent and good budget knives, I just couldn't do it with the American brands. There are some out there. I'm not gonna lie. There are a uh, American Blade Works is doing amazing stuff. 
Uh, so is uh, um, now a TRM. TRM is doing amazing knives and they're at an affordable price point. But the fact is a lot of the brands that people are throwing out, Microtech, uh, Medford, those knives are outside of the realm of what most people can afford right now. And if, unfortunately, American companies have like Benchmade and even Spyderco, which I love Spyderco knives, even Spyderco has went this way where their marketing and price point is just un untenable for your average person. Most people are looking for a good $50 to $100 knife. That is the majority of the young knife market. And if you are a YouTuber and that's not what you, that's why, that's why my sea snake design is, I told him I wanted it to be $50 or in that $50 price point or lower. There's a reason for that. You have to understand what the market is looking for. And the fact is most people aren't going to take a $500 knife to work with them and bash on it. Some people do, but that's not what the majority of the folks that are getting into the knife community want. So I just wanted to dispel those rumors. I do not get paid for reviews. Once again, ad revenue, membership, the uh, affiliate marketing stuff, the sales parts that I put down, like the, the purchase links, any of those things, uh, my, my sponsors, Coffee Brand, Coffee Temper Trail, and my membership. And like back to the membership thing, that is the best thing that I wanted to do for guys. There are guys that want to support the channel. I don't like the idea of just simply running this based off Super Chat. As a matter of fact, I've pared down my live feeds to a point where I, there may not be live feeds on a regular basis anymore because it just gets frustrating and then I fall into that trap where like, I'm like, oh, you got to drop super chats and things like that. And I get frustrated and I don't want to do that. I'd much rather run this on memberships where I can offer you guys benefits. The, the, the affiliate marketing, because I only put, I don't know if you guys noticed, there's not always purchase links and videos. Sometimes that's because that knife is not available, but a lot of times it's because the knife is okay especially on like a first initial impression, the knife's okay, but I'm not 100% sure that I want to bring it to you for you to go purchase that item. So the affiliate links down below uh, in videos, uh, the purchase links, that's one way that absolutely just sets it out. I don't like the idea of getting paid for reviews. I don't like the idea that people are getting paid for reviews. There is an easy way to pick it out. Like I said, there's always the same talking points. So I don't want to beat a dead horse. I just wanted to get it out there for you guys. You guys, the paying members are going to see this first. And then I'm going to release it out, but I'm going to release it pretty quickly because it, it really, it really upset me when that just, it, it went like people just dogpiled on me and, on a video because that was their brand and they got upset. Uh, but not to call anyone out. Uh, there is no one person I'm calling out on this. There was a few people. But the fact is, I do think that a lot of these American brands have just went crazy with their pricing structure. So, guys, just a quick video. I wanted to get that out of there. Uh, I, I love you all. If you're watching this, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I, I love seeing that number go up. Uh, it helps the channel. Give them thumbs up and things like that. And like I said, sponsor links down below. You can check them out. Awesome. I would not bring those companies to you unless I had faith in their products. So I will see you guys later.